girls. I sure am glad that you guys are able to watch us again. Got my trusty dog, Chewy. And he's got his favorite toy, his ball. Well, let me ask you, is there something, have you ever wanted to learn another language? Or maybe some of you guys can speak a different language. Maybe you can say your uh, numbers in Spanish. Or you might can say, adios amigos, which means goodbye friends. Well, I'm going to tell you the coolest story in the Bible. It takes place in Acts, the second chapter. And it is where a miracle truly, truly takes place. The disciples were in a house and they were talking about Jesus and what all had happened to Jesus and how they were going to tell other people about Jesus when all of a sudden they were able to speak another language. That was a miracle. That was the Holy Spirit giving them the ability to communicate with other people. Let me read the story to you. And I've got a really cool picture as well. Peter and the other disciples of Jesus were together in a house. They heard a sound like a strong wind. People gathered outside the house after hearing the sound. The disciples began to speak in different languages. They went out to tell the people about Jesus. The people were surprised and the disciples could speak in many languages. Don't you know that the disciples were just as surprised as the people were? Peter stood up and talked to all the people. Listen to me, Peter said. God did this. God sent his son, Jesus. Jesus did many miracles. Jesus told us about God. He died, and now he's alive. Now Jesus is God's son. Jesus, God's son, is in heaven with God. Many people listened to the message that Peter spoke that day. What should we do? The people asked. Peter told them to start making good choices and to learn more about God and about God's son, Jesus. Three thousand people believed what Peter said. They met with the disciples to learn more about Jesus. That's kind of exciting. You know, when Brother Scott gives his sermon and, um, they get, and Brother Doug then sings the imitation, could you imagine if 3,000 people went up front? Wow, that would be crazy. But it would be exciting. Well, I could not wait to tell you this story about a miracle that God performed through the disciples. Okay, so, even though we might not be able to speak different languages, we still can speak English, and we can still tell people about God and Jesus and how much God loves us. Okay. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Y'all take care, and I hope to see you soon.